Hey everyone, it's Gamer Studios here, and guys, today we're gonna go over the LEGO Star Wars 2021 Winter Wave sets. Now, sadly, we, we don't have any official images for the Imperial Tidarium shuttle. Some people are thinking that that set will be released in spring of 2021, so we most likely won't be getting images of that later on, which honestly, I'm gonna easily call BS on that because that set was announced with the whole 2021 Winter Wave sets. So, anyhow, let's get right to it. The first set is 75301 Luke Skywalker's X-Wing Fighter with 474 pieces and 50 bucks with four minifigures. Luke Skywalker, R2-D2, a tenth of four Princess Leia, which is really nice for a lot of people because that minifigure right now on eBay is like 20 bucks. And a exclusive minifigure for the set being General Dodonna, which honestly is really awesome. Now, this set looks really good especially for a smaller version of the luke's um the x-wing starfighter set it looks really good not gonna lie the only th problems that i have about it is just the nose and the engines the nose is too small and the engines are just too small to like it they're too small they're accurate for the size of this particular x-wing but for us fans of the 2018 model, the engines is disappointing, to be completely honest. But this is a really nice X-Wing, and this is a set that I am looking forward to picking up. And this, and I'm someone who wasn't excited for the set at all. This was my least favorite set of 2021, but now that I see the image, it looks pretty darn good. The next set is 75300. Imperial TIE Fighter with 432 pieces with three minifigures and 40 bucks. The minifigures being an Imperial TIE Pilot, an Imperial Stormtrooper, and an Imperial Astromech Droid. Now, this set looks really good. The only problem is the solar panels for the TIE Fighter. They're too small. Obviously, that's an easy mod. But honestly, this is a really good TIE Fighter set. For 40 bucks, you can't ask for anything more. This is a good TIE Fighter set. A lot of people are comparing this to the Rebels um, TIE Fighter. And honestly, that's a... No, I'm not going to go into the whole, like, oh, size doesn't really matter. But honestly, hmm, LEGO has decided to make these sets cheaper and more affordable for people who don't have the money to spend on a $70 TIE Fighter or an $80 X-Wing. So this is a really good step in the right direction. But the wings are just a tad bit small, and that's all I have to complain. I'm definitely going to be picking this set up as soon as I find it on shelves. I most likely will end up picking up two. Now, the next set is the man, the legend... The 501st Battle Pack of the Winter Wave of 2021, 75299 with 276 pieces, 30 bucks, 3 minifigures, Trouble on Tatooine. The minifigures being the Child, a Tusken Raider, and a Beskard Armor Mandalorian minifigure, which comes with arm printing, which is so freaking awesome. Yes, this is the 501st Battle Pack of 2021, guys. You want to know why? Because of that Beskar armor, Mandalorian. That's This set is going to literally be sold out within a week. I guarantee it. And honestly, it's going to be pretty nice. Seeing that um, a lot of people who are addicted to the 501st Battle Packs getting this. That makes it easier for people who don't have the 501st Battle Pack. Or just have one. Are able to get multiple of them. So that way Lego could restock on 501st Battle Packs. While... The Trouble on Tatooine sets are going out of stock, but honestly, this is a great set. The um, Swoop Bike is really awesome. Makes me really want to do the um, mod, I don't know, the Season 2 mod of the set. Um, the Ballista looks really awesome. The Tent with the Campfire is kind of a side meh build, but it is really awesome. I'm definitely going to be using the Ballista in that Tent for parts as soon as I pick up the set, but I'm going to be leaving the Swoop Bike um in a in my collection like i'm not going to take that down because it has the child which has a really nice little bag piece now we're down to the final two sets that were revealed today two of the most disappointing sets of 2021 the imperial oh no, the millennium falcon 
microfighter with 101 pieces for ten dollars with one minifigure being han solo honestly i'm not gonna say much it's your casual millennium falcon with some new pieces i might get it just for the han solo minifigure i'm not gonna do a review on it because this set is not worth reviewing it's just your casual microfighter here and finally seven five two nine eight hoth battle and this is gonna come with luke skywalker in a brick built cute pretty cute tauntaun and a at, -AT driver with um bigfoot at, -AT walker like are you kidding me? Why is the AT-AT's walker so feet, on a feet so big? Honestly, this is a set that I'm not going to be picking up. Both of these minor fighters, I'm not picking up. The only reason why I would ever pick them up is unless I want the minifigures and I don't care about the builds. I would literally sell these, like, builds. Like, I'm just going to keep the minifigures and sell the builds. But, honestly, those are the two most disappointing sets of 2021 in terms of, like, Star Wars. So... Anyway, guys, that is pretty much it for this quick pre-review um, LEGO Star Wars 2021 announcement video. Um, we're still waiting on images for the Imperial Tidarium shuttle, but th that is it, guys. Um, let me know what your, th what your thoughts on of the 2021 wave. You let me know down in the comment section below, guys. Make sure to like this video, and obviously, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and join my Discord server. With that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.